We mentioned bots and botnets. Bots and botnets are controlled by command and control software. So botnets are usually used for certain types of attacks like distributed denial of service. They can be used for crypto malware where each of the affected devices, each of the bots, are used to mine cryptocurrency. Some of their processing power is used in a mining pool to mine cryptocurrency without the user's knowledge. Uh, they can be used to send spam messages or to perform attacks on behalf of the attacker where the attacker's IP address would be masked. Now, Internet of Things devices usually are embedded systems, right? like a smart refrigerator. It doesn't have security in mind when it uh, has its system. It's usually just trying to tell you how cold your food is. Um, but those devices, they might not have a robust firewall that makes them very easy for uh, to be recruited as part of a bot. Nowadays, smart devices have pretty powerful embedded systems. They have a, quite a bit of processing power for what they really do. A refrigerator is going to tell you how cold your food is, but it might have uh, a processor that's on par with the older model smartphone. They're just telling you how cold your food is. Botnets are controlled using command and control software, and there's a couple different examples of this. Uh, UFOnet is an open source tool primarily used for distributed denial of service attacks. And it can be used once you infect a bunch of different machines as bots, you would all command those using UFOnet, with UFOs being you know, unidentified flying objects and the, the idea there is that you have a network of these UFOs or bots that you are controlling. An old one that's been around for a long time is Low Orbit Ion Cannon, or LOIC. This tool is basically designed for distributed denial of service, and it uses, uses uh, oftentimes willing bot participants. People will opt in to be part of Low Orbit Ion Cannon. It's often used by hacktivists, used to Hacktivists, as you recall, are people who are hackers who are trying to support a certain cause. That's a, maybe a political cause, environmental cause, what have you. They're not motivated by money. They're motivated by uh, the belief in their values. So remember, command control software is used to send signals to a botnet to conduct different types of attacks, like crypto uh, malware, crypto mining, spam, or distributed denial service. Thank uh you. -huh.